Hey tribe, welcome to your bodyweight imam. I believe this is number eight. In this bodyweight imam, we're gonna do a flowing warm up. So just follow along. You're gonna have three drills in this particular bodyweight. You're gonna go every minute on the minute. So if it takes you 30 or 40 seconds to complete all three drills, then you'll have 20 seconds remaining. Otherwise, you can take as long as you like or take as short as you like. And we're gonna do 14 minutes total. Starting on the mat this time, we're gonna Begin our journey in downward facing dog. Flowing warm up, we're gonna go through each of these dynamic poses three times through, so just follow along. Downward facing dog, hips up and back, drop your hips as low as they can go, and then just straighten the legs, pushing into a plank position, and then back to downward dog. Repeat that just two more times. Drop, roll, maybe each time getting a little bit lower to the floor kind of like a rabbit. In fact, in yoga lingo, that's called rabbit pose. Finishing in plank, back to downward dog. Inhale, right leg high to the sky. Bend the knee, open thy hip. Take a big giant step outside the right hand. And we're just gonna roll through skandasana like so. Using the hands. Ooh, nice little snap, crackle, and pop happening. Skandasana, transfer the weight. Rotate all the way around into your reverse skandasana. Continue the motion, let the right heel drag to the outside of the left thigh. An option to do a nice, easy, light twist, rolling back through, planting the hands, stepping into your dragon lunge, and then transferring back into, we're gonna call this big toe skandasana, and then back to dragon lunge. Two more times like that, this time a little more fluid. Scorpion, bend knee, open hip. You can exhale as you step into dragon lunge, turn, rotate, twist into your basic skandasana, and then turn back around, coming into the reverse skandasana. This foot, your right foot's gonna wanna drag. Just let it drag, rolling to the left heel. Easy little twist, rolling back around. Dragon lunge into the big toe. Tandasana, last time through, even more fluid. Scorpion, exhale, step. Skandasana, body will rotate, shoulders will go. I'll come into reverse skandasana, drag it, and this time maybe elbow outside the thigh. Easy little twist coming back through. Big toe skandasana, like so. Transferring dragon lunge, step back, downward dog. And now we got the other side. Left leg up, scorpion. Into your dragon lunge, knee stacked over ankle. That's key. Then you're gonna to rotate to your skandasana on the heel of the foot. Shoulders will lead the way. Notice that foot turns out, coming into reverse skandasana momentarily as the foot drags. And that way you can do an easy twist, coming back through, drag and lunge, and then into a big toe skandasana. I'm calling it big toe because we're pressing down on the big toe. Back into drag and lunge. Scorpion, dragon, skandasana. You can breathe, inhale as you transition, exhale as you tap into a pose, let it drag, that's important. Rotate at the top, little twist. Stamping down, dragon lunge. Talking about that big toe action. Hips underneath, shoulders high. Last time through, even more fluid. So, Scorpion, Dragon, these are pretty cool names. Skandasana, I hope you're impressed by that. And then Reverse Skandasana, Dragging it. You should hear the heel drag, and this time you can take the elbow outside like so, coming back through. So if I was in class with you teaching, I would be like, oh, I gotta hear that, that heel drag. Come back to Dragon Lunge. On this next transition, just step right foot outside right hand, left hand back, right hand back. This is old hat for our Vibe Tribe, talking about these windshield or windscreen wipers if you are in Australia. Transfer your weight to your right, drop all the way down, and I want you to reach with your left hand high to the sky, drawing a big arc, followed by the right. You can think of almost a windmill. Two more times, I'm reaching, looking up towards the sky, so follow your hands, they are leading the way, maybe dropping down a little bit further. 
reaching, so I'm really stretching. Like, I'm not even playing right now. I'm literally reaching up to the heavens, asking for some powers. Reaching up and through, up and through. The legs will naturally just unfold. Last one for good measure. So reaching up, my legs come through like a seated tabletop position. And by tabletop, I mean on the bum. Dropping on down, boom. Reaching up, reaching up, dropping on down. Coming back to center. Feet and the knees and the heels can be close to your bum. Hands, I just got British all of a sudden. Hands come right underneath you, close to the lats. Push the hips up and just swing back. Option one, we're gonna do two more. You can keep the knees bent or straighten the legs. Last one, hold and squeeze. Now walk the feet in as close as you can. Start to tilt forward, drop knees to the mat, and then back to the heels. You can use your hands if you need to, it's all good. And if you're like, hey, my knees won't touch, you can go to like there, that's all fine. This is like a lot of knee, hip, and ankle mobility for that leg action. Plant the palms, stepping back into downward facing dog. Last little movement we're gonna do three times through. Down dog, coming through plank position. Drop both knees, tops of the feet, lower all the way down, inhale cobra. Exhale lower, push up into plank. Downward dog, not done yet. Drop both forearms, push into forearm plank, and then push back into downward dog two more times. We're gonna add on a little bit, so we're in plank position, lower down to chaturanga, drop both knees. Option two, go straight into upward dog, looking straight. If I ever look at the cameras, because I'm checking and making a connection, but you should be looking straight forward. Tuck toes, downward dog. Drop forearms and roll through into plank. Drop the knees, back to active, push back, downward dog, last time through. Roll through, plank position. All good, this time we're gonna stay hovering, keep the legs active, inhale upward, exhale downward. Drop both knees, roll through, option, drop knees, and just continue sending the chest up and forward. And that will be your modification for your Hindu push-up. Hop the feet outside the hands. Let's get right into the three drills you're gonna do. I'm gonna break it down. You've done these before in body weight four, five, and six, but if you haven't, I'll give a brief explanation so that you have an idea of what we're gonna do. First drill that we're gonna do is the seated twist.